Hello and welcome to the news. My name is Chuck Chalkerson. Our top story today, one local doctor, Jacob Pratt, is asking kids to stop playing video games and watching TikTok. Instead, he recommends they try some healthy practices. Dr. Pratt told reporters, try washing your hands for 20 seconds. It's good, clean fun. In science news, geologists have made a groundbreaking discovery that will rock your world. They've discovered that plateaus are in fact the highest form of flattery. Coming up at four, Nashville is known for its music, but one local printer is going viral for making music of its own. Apparently the printer is jamming. After that, one local church, New Hope, is opening its doors up again on January 24th, next Sunday. They're telling our reporters that every kid who comes to Children's Church at 1030 will get to eat waffles and see their friends again. For now, we turn to our walking in the desert expert, Moses, for a special report. Moses, how is it going on Sinai Mountain? Not good, Chuck. Really, really bad. Well, why is that? Well... I went up to the mountain, I talked to God, he gave me 10 commandments, that's all, just 10. So I came down the mountain with these tablets that God carved for us. And they're down there worshiping a golden cow, Chuck. A cow? What did you do about it? Well, I threw those tablets down and I broke them. They didn't deserve them. And then I chopped up their cow and I pounded it into pieces and I threw it in the water and I made them drink their own cow. Hey, well, that sounds, uh... Sounds pretty extreme, Moses. Wow. Hey, Chuck. Hey, they started the beef. Well, all right, that's all for our news today. Until next time, let's get ready to learn. Hey, friends, I'm Megan. And I'm Jesse. Jesse, is something wrong? You seem sad. Yeah, I did something wrong. Oh, you want to talk about it? Well,. Remember how at first Sam wouldn't let me borrow his blue koala karate squad action figure, but then he changed his mind and let me? Yeah. Well, I broke it. Oh, I didn't mean to, I promise. But I left it on the floor when I got done playing and then I accidentally stepped on it and his leg came off. Oh man. Sam is gonna be so mad at me. I'll talk to Sam for you, Jesse. You will? I sure will. In today's Bible story, the Israelites did something wrong and Moses talked to God for them. He asked God to forgive them. Let me tell you the story. Moses and the Israelites were in the wilderness. God had freed them from slavery in Egypt, and he helped them escape the angry Pharaoh and his army. The Israelites set up camp in front of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Moses went up the mountain, and God talked to him. God had a lot to tell Moses, and Moses was up on the mountain for a long time. The Israelites at the bottom of the mountain were tired of waiting. Where is Moses? What is taking him so long? They wondered. The people went to talk to Aaron, Moses' brother. We need a God to lead us because we do not know what happened to Moses, they said. So Aaron used gold to make a statue of a calf for them to worship. God saw what the people were doing, and he was angry because of their sin. God told Moses to go down the mountain. Moses rushed down the mountain carrying two stone tablets that God had written on. He got closer to the camp and saw the people dancing in front of the gold calf. Moses threw down the stone tablets, smashing them at the bottom of the mountain. Then he destroyed the gold calf. What were you thinking? Moses asked his brother. The next day, Moses said, I will go up to the Lord. Maybe I can do something so God will forgive you. Then Moses went back up the mountain to talk to God. Please forgive these people, Moses said to God. God said, when it is time to punish them, I will punish them for their sin. God gave Moses more laws and instructions. God made two more stone tablets because Moses broke the first two. God said to Moses, 
the Lord cares about his people. He is good to them, but he will punish the guilty. Moses bowed down and worshipped God. Lord, please go with us, he said. Forgive our sin and accept us as your people. God's people disobeyed God, and Moses asked God to forgive them. Moses talked to God for the people. When we sin, Jesus talks to God for us. Jesus never sinned. God forgives those who trust in Jesus.